Good evening to all and welcome to the session 200 grammar rules. Today it is revision uh, rules 1 to 50. All these rules in the form of examples you are going to consolidate. Let us start with, uh, we'll take one sentence at a time. Read the first sentence and try to spot the error. One sentence at a time. Please don't jump. Then I will give the explanation. I will tell where the error is. If you don't find any error, no error. Manoj and Baskar's bakery have become a very popular bakery within no time. Where is the error? If no error, no error. N-E. Manoj and Baskar's bakery have become a very popular bakery within no time. Yes, Srinivas, first one to respond. You have to read the sentence very carefully or meticulously. Here, Manoj and Baskar's bakery, it talks about, you see an apostrophe and the letter S. Then you have to recollect the rule. If something belongs to two persons, then we use apostrophe for the second one. But if they belong to two different persons, for each one we have to use the apostrophe and the letter S. But how do you decide? Based on become a very popular bakery within no time. Here the sentence, the context talks about the bakery belongs to two persons. Then it is only one bakery. We cannot use a verb in the plural form. It has to be in the singular form. Based on that, Manoj and Baker's, a Baskers bakery, Manoj and Baskers bakery has become a very popular bakery within no time. No, no, let me complete. Please don't go to the next one. We'll take one at a time. Once I say, now it is over, please go to sentence number two. Then you go to sentence number two. Otherwise, it results in confusion. We'll try to do in a systematic way. Please read sentence number two and try to spot the error. Exactly, that's right, Naresh. I told him not to do it for Jesus' sake. Is that right or wrong? Now you have to look at sentence number two and spot the error. I told him not to do it for here when a particular word, ah, oh yes, after if a particular word ends in the letter S, then you add the apostrophe and the letter S, it may result in the hissing sound or it may sound a little odd. Then we don't use. Based on that, Moses' sake, Jesus' sake, here we don't use. After uh, Jesus, we don't use the we use the apostrophe, but we don't use a letter S. Then it is correct. Jesus' sake. Good evening. Please go to question number three or sentence number three. Hissing sound exactly. Then we try to avoid adding the letter S. My friend and me went there yesterday. My friend and me went there yesterday. Exactly. Pranam. Bhagya Lakshmi. Here, we have the word, the noun, my friend, in the subject position. And also, we have a pronoun in the subject position. When the pronoun is in the subject position, we have to use a subject form. We cannot use the object form. Based on that, me is not correct. We have to say, my friend and I went there yesterday. Then it is correct. My friend and I went there yesterday. Perfect. What is the reason? The pronoun is in the subject position. Then we have to use the subject form. First person singular. Subject form is personal pronoun I. Please go to question number four. You, I, and he 
have been invited to the party these questions may look easy for easy here for two reasons one you are doing in isolation second you are not under pressure but these are the rules which may trouble in the exam here there are some questions please wait there are questions when you see pronouns here it is understood you singular second person singular i first person singular he third person singular when you have to use all the pronouns in the singular form then what is the correct order the correct order is two three one based on that this sentence is not correct you it is correct but after you it should be he and in the last position it should be i second person singular third person singular first person singular and what is the correct order two three one then it is correct the prime minister of india's speech has been quite impressive if there is no error no error think of the fifth option as well question number five the prime minister of india's speech has been quite impressive exactly there is a question 50 questions I have brought i'm going to touch i have touched all the rules very good who is this no error uh sairam says no error swati then kanchana devi divya all these very good here when you talk about there are so many words the designation the prime minister of india then we should use the apostrophe to the last word the prime minister of india's india apostrophe s speech has been quite impressive the sentence is contextually grammatically correct no error please go to question number six or sentence number six has been because there is no time we have to use present perfect tense has been quite impressive not worse ramesh not worse has been what is the reason there's no time when there's no time we talk about a past action we are supposed to use present perfect tense not past tense now question number six here you have to understand the context the context talks about things clothes then you have to recollect the difference between hang and hanged and hung hanged goes with a person and hung goes with things here clothes things then we cannot use hanged it should be hung he hung the clothes in the backyard last night then it is correct please go to question number seven hung is used with things hanged is used with persons they fell many trees in our colony yesterday they fell many trees in our colony yesterday whenever you read a sentence try to focus on look for the time phrase what is the time phrase over here yesterday then you have to tell yourself it goes into the past we have to use the verb in the past form already you all know everyone knows paul fell fallen but here it is not about that verb it is about a different verb what is it fell felled felled and this goes with the context it means what to cut cut what the trees so based on that fell is not correct it should be they felled many trees in our colony yesterday then it is correct go to question number eight we have been trying to rise a standard since january since january whenever you come across prepositions since and for do remember you have to recollect present perfect and present perfect continuous it has to be one of the two we have been trying to there is nothing wrong with that have been trying but whenever you come across rise or raise read the sentence twice thrice understand the context here rise what 
the standards that is object when there is an object we cannot use arise arise is an intransitive verb it cannot take an object we have to use the transitive verb erase the standards erase your hand erase the standards the boy was lying on the sofa when i saw him arise arise talks about going up position point of view and raise it talks about raising the standards means taking to a higher level it takes an object grammar knowledge helps a lot the boy was lying on the sofa when i saw him here there are two tenses the boy was lying on the sofa when i saw him something happened in the past i saw him that time something was going on the boy was lying on the sofa here the context talks about based on the context we have to use a verb lie lay lane means what it has two different meanings one meaning to be in the horizontal position the other one to be in a particular state for a long time here the first one to be in a horizontal position while relaxing and what is the ing form of that lying based on that there is no error question number 9 no error very good i appreciate please go to question number 10 the minister has laid the foundation stone you have to read the sentence understand the context then you will be able to decide or spot the error what is a clue for you over here ha uh, rise in salary rise in fuel prices oh madhav you are there good so the foundation stone you have to recollect all the combinations that is smart learning uh, rules and regulations foundation stone eggs things babies uh, roads then we have to think of the verb lay laid laid here it talks about this one not lie lay 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 laid laid and we have to use the past participle form the minister has lain is not correct laid the foundation stone then it is correct question number 11 the new student forgot to carry her spectacle yesterday please go to question number 11 the new student forgot to carry her spectacle yesterday where is the error this is a very useful exercise because you can recollect and consolidate 50 rules and after the session you have to make a note each one the new student forgot to yesterday forgot past nothing wrong to carry what her spectacle then you have to recollect the rule there are some nouns they always have the plural form and take a plural verb what are the examples trousers shorts tights scissors spectacles tongs and binoculars so many are there so here spectacle these nouns always have the plural form they cannot be used in the singular form billiards snookers yes very good spectacles is correct please go to question number 12 unfortunately in india linguistics are not a popular subject if you write during the live session the examples that helps in the long run i really appreciate that my regular concept classes i'm starting new batches in the first week of uh, april april 2nd i'm launching my own app my own website and i'll be talking about that in the last week of this month maybe next week then you can enroll paid batches initially no free classes paid batches but evening 200 rules free you don't have to pay unfortunately in india linguistics are not a popular subject here linguistics it is in a plural form but always takes some nouns always in the plural form but take a singular verb what are the examples news physics mathematics linguistics statistics economics and also you have to recollect three diseases measles mumps rickets based on that here we cannot use a plural plural verb we have to use a singular verb 
At the same time, you have to recollect economics and statistics. They also take plural verbs based on the context. The gentry have accepted the invitation given by the village people. The key words, examples, the moment you see that word, next second you should be able to recollect the rule, cross check, and decide where the error is. Uh, mumps, measles, rickets, all these. They all take the definite article the, and two more diseases take the definite article the, the plague, the flu. Here, gentry some nouns there are five nouns always in the singular form but take a plural verb take a plural verb what are the five examples gentry cattle poultry vermin clergy here gentry singular form plural verb no error whatsoever the gentry have accepted exactly if you use the word economics to convey the idea of financial aspects, then you can use a plural verb. Please go to question number 14. His son-in-laws are very kind and understanding. Uh, upper class or cream of the society. Yes, Wamsi, a rich people, the rich and the famous. Cattle, poultry, vermin, gentry and clergy. Five examples you got to remember. Compound nouns, when it comes to compound nouns, the letter S or the letter Z S should be added to the key word. Common error, because usually we add S or S to the word at the end, people tend to say son-in-laws, not correct. It should be. What is the key word over here? Son, sons-in-law, mothers-in-law, mother-in-laws, wrong, son-in-laws, wrong. All these have given many a time in different competitive exams. Only thing they change the example. Please go to question number 15. Several alumnus have agreed to help raise money for orphans. Son-in-law singular, sons-in-law plural. Here, several. Several means more than one, plural. Then you cannot use a singular form. Singular alumnus, what is a plural? You can say alumni or alumni. Either way, it is correct. So here we cannot use a singular form. We have to use a plural form. Plural form, alumni or alumni. Because several plural have also plural verb. We cannot use a noun in the singular form. Question number 16. We have visited Netherlands five times this year have visited present perfect why present perfect over here this year incomplete whenever there is an adverb of time that is incomplete do remember we have to use present perfect tense but uh, read the sentence very carefully where is the error we have visited netherlands five times this year 16 there is an error sentence is not correct exactly student who has studied in a particular school or college or university certain countries before a country usually we are not supposed to use any article but english has rules english has exceptions before certain countries we have to use a definite article the what are the examples the uk the us the netherlands the philippines the uae the ukraine and the philippines based on that here one word is missing what is missing the definite article the the netherlands then it is correct please go to question number 17 john is mark twain of our group exactly not all the countries some countries john is mark twain of our group yes yes if you use groups of islands that's a different rule altogether when it comes to the definite article the there are more than uh, 40 rules. Here, there are two proper nouns. John, name of a person. Mark Twain, American writer, name of a person. But when we use a proper noun as a common noun, here, Mark Twain has been used, though it is a proper noun, has been used as a common noun. Then the rule says, 
When we use a proper noun as a common noun, we have to use a definite article, the. John is the Mark Twain of our group. Then the sentence is correct. The GB Shaw, the Mark Twain. Go to question number 18 or sentence number 18. The recently appointed committee was divided in their opinion. Very good. Uh, question number 18, where is the error? The recently appointed committee, whenever you come across words like five words, you have to remember five to six, committee, jury, team, staff, family, group. You have to recollect the rules that go with collective nouns. Collective nouns usually take a singular verb, but if you come across a sentence that conveys or denotes division, then the collective noun takes a plural verb, a plural pronoun. Based on that, the recently appointed committee was is not correct. It has to be word divided. And we have to use a plural pronoun, plural verb, plural pronoun in their opinion. Only then the sentence is right. The, the clue for you is the verb divided. Please go to question number 19. The team of two Indian scientists and three American scientists have visited the rainforest. Team also, committee, jury, staff, team, families, all these are very important. The team, team again, a collective noun. After the noun, after the subject, usually in English, we come across a phrase or a clause. Keep that phrase or clause in brackets. Of two Indian scientists and three American scientists, put these words, the phrase in brackets. Then you ask the question. The sentence does not talk about any division. Based on that, a collective noun usually, typically takes a singular verb. Have is not correct. It has to be has. The team has visited the rainforest. Perfect. Go to question number 20. The Arabian Nights are still very popular among children. Exceptions are there, definitely. If the sentence talks about some sort of division, then the collective noun takes a plural verb, a plural pronoun. Here, the Arabian Nights, the title of a book, Titles of books, they may be in plural form, but they're considered one. Based on that, they take a singular verb, not a plural verb. The Arabian Nights is still very popular among children. Then it is correct. Titles of books, remember that way. Titles of books and also names of countries. The United States, United States, plural form, but it is one country that also takes a singular verb. Please go to question number 21. I, she, and you have made this silly mistake. I, she, and you have made this silly mistake. Exactly. Here, there's a clue. What is a clue? Made this silly mistake. Means what you're admitting, you're confessing. When you admit or confess, what is the correct order? One, two, three. Based on that, I, she, and you, it is not correct. It should be I, you, and she. First person singular, second person singular, and then third person singular. And what is the correct order? One, two, three. Please go to question number 22. The two brothers argued with each other in front of their mother. The two brothers argued with each other in front of their mother. Do you find any error? Two brothers, that means what we are talking about, two persons. Then you have to think of when you see each other, you have to think of a reciprocal pronouns. A reciprocal pronouns are two in number. <clears throat> Excuse me. One each other, the other one, one another. Two persons are two things, each other, more than two. 
one another. Based on that, no error. <clears throat> Excuse me. No error. The two brothers argued with each other. Perfect. Go to question number 23. The tourists enjoyed a lot last winter. I'm sorry. A winter, not a winner. While typing, that must have gone wrong. The tourists enjoyed a lot last winter. 23, there is an error. Oh, there is an error. What is the reason? Mother. Here, the tourists enjoyed, whenever you come across certain words, certain verbs rather, enjoy, absent, avail, avenge, revenge, and also pride, you have to think of the rule that goes with reflexive verbs and reflexive pronouns. What is a rule? In the sentence, if at all there is a reflexive verb, there is a reflexive verb. After the reflexive verb, if there is an object, you don't have to touch the sentence. But if there is no object, then the rule says we have to use the reflexive pronoun. Here the tourists enjoyed what? No answer. And whom? No answer. A lot? How much? When? Last winter. Because there is no object, we have to use a reflexive pronoun. What is the subject over here? The tourist means they. And what is the reflexive form for that? Themselves. The tourists enjoyed themselves a lot last winter. No problem. Question number 24. My sister and myself informed the police last evening. This is also a common error. My sister, subject position. Myself, here there is a pronoun in the subject position. We cannot use that pronoun in the reflexive form or emphatic form. It should be in the subject form, personal pronoun subject. So first person singular, my sister and I informed the police last evening. Then it is correct. Question number 25. Uh, thank you very much. That's a good example. Question number 25. Myself painted the house last night. There's a rule you have to recollect. What is that rule? We cannot begin or start a sentence with a reflexive or an emphatic pronoun. Based on that, and at the time of the interview, or you meet someone for the first time, never say myself and your name. That is not correct. You have to use a subject. For myself, what is a personal pronoun? I. I myself and it has to be then small letter. I myself painted the house last night. Means you are trying to emphasize. Here myself is an emphatic pronoun. <clears throat> of course, then the sentence is correct. Yes, mother. Picnic becomes the object. Then there's nothing wrong with the sentence. Please go to question number 26. For him. Today it may take more time because 50 questions, 25 questions, almost half an hour. I have brought 50 questions, so it could be another half an hour. If you guys are prepared, fine. For him, five kilometers. So when it comes to certain nouns, though they're in the plural form, related to distance, weight, currency, whatever it is, they are considered singular. Based on that, they take a singular verb not a plural verb. For him, five kilometers is a long walk. Though it is in a plural form, we have to use, it is considered a whole, single unit. We have to use a singular verb. When I asked him, he gave me an advice. Is the sentence right or wrong? When I asked him, he gave me he gave me an advice. Question number 27. Here, advice, there are two things you have to recollect. 
V I C E that is a noun, and if it is A D V I S E, then it is a it is a verb. First, you have to recollect this V I C E noun, V I S E verb. But before it is an abstract noun. Before abstract nouns, we cannot use any article based on that. And is not correct. But you can use a phrase. What is a phrase? He has given me or he gave me a piece of a piece of advice. Then it is correct. Nothing wrong with that. It's a standard phrase. Uh, Two hundred rupees is spent on groceries. All that I need is thousand rupees. Thousand rupees is all that I need. Singular verb. A piece of advice. Very good. Go to question number twenty-eight. The sceneries of Kashmir are beautiful. You may find one error or two errors or three errors, but wherever you find the error, you have to point out. Yes, luggage, information, advice, scenery. One more example. Scenery cannot be used. Some abstract nouns cannot be used in the plural form. Typical example: scenery. It is not sceneries. Then you cannot use the verb in the plural form. It should be is. Very good. Both you have to consider. The scenery of Kashmir is beautiful. Perfect. Go to question number twenty-nine. The autumn season has its own beauty. Question number twenty-eight has two errors, not one. The autumn season has its own beauty. All these examples should be at your fingertips. Then you can answer within no time. If you cannot remember, don't remember the examples. Then it becomes a bit difficult to spot the error. The moment you see words like autumn, spring, nature, earth, moon, you have to recollect the rule. English people have attributed because they express beauty and grace. They attributed the feminine gender. Then you cannot use it. It has to be. Her own beauty. The autumn season has her own beauty, and examples related to masculine gender that express power and strength: sun, uh, summer, winter, time, death. All these examples you have to recollect. Go to question number thirty. American anti-aircraft artillery met the challenge by destroying more than three hundred enemy aircrafts. There are certain nouns. They are always in the singular form, whether singular or plural. They have the same form. And what are the examples? Sheep, deer, bison, salmon, trout, cod, offspring, aircraft, and spacecraft. Based on that, we cannot say aircrafts. It has to be only aircraft. Exactly. That's right. Question number thirty-one: The cute babies are having fun in the park. Babies are always cute. The cute babies are having fun in the park. So, what does it mean, Shrinivas? Exactly. Singular or plural, they have the same form. Try to streamline your information. Animals, land animals, one group: sheep, deer, bison. Types of fish, one group: salmon, trout, cod. Offspring, independent. Aircraft, spacecraft, one group. Here, the cute babies are having. Already have learned stative verbs. Stative verbs cannot be used in ing form, but exceptions are there. Our two verbs I taught. There are two verbs here. Having can be used when it comes to position. You cannot use have in the ing form. If I say I'm having two brothers, that is wrong. I have two brothers, but having has many functions, many meanings. Eat, drink, experience. Here it means what? Experiencing. When you try to use that, convey that meaning, there is no error. Answer: No error. Sentence is contextually, grammatically perfect. Question number thirty-two. They have been seeing each other for a few months. 
they have been seeing each other for a few months. Is the sentence right or wrong? In this context, having fun means experiencing fun. See, when it comes to, the, these are the two verbs you have to remember. You, senses also we cannot use in ING form, but the meaning, a different meaning, we can use in the ING form. If I say I'm seeing a beautiful something wrong, I see something very beautiful. I cannot say I'm seeing something very beautiful. That is not correct. But here, this has a different meaning altogether. What does it mean? They are in a relationship. If that is the meaning, you can use the verb in the ing form. They have been seeing each other for a few months. No error. They have been seeing. Here it talks about a man and a woman. Only each other, not one another. No, no error. The context is important. More than two, you can think of one another. But here, relationship, only two persons. Please go to question number 33. The intelligent is usually stubborn. The intelligent is usually stubborn. Is that sentence right or wrong? Here the word intelligent is an adjective, but in this example, it has been used as a noun. Then you have to recollect the rule. When we use an adjective as a noun, we have to use a definite article, the, it is there, and we have to use a verb in the plural form not in the singular form. Based on that, the intelligent are usually stubborn. Then, it, the, then the sentence is correct. My neighbor prefers tea than coffee. See, what is smart learning? One sentence, one question, you have to recollect. First, you have to answer. Then you have to recollect the rule, all the examples, related information. If you make it a habit, I call that smart learning, one thing you will be able to consolidate your knowledge and all the rules will be at your fingertips. Here there's a verb, prefer. The verb prefer takes a preposition to, not than. This is a common error. Then you have to recollect comparative adjectives like anterior, posterior, senior, junior, superior, inferior, preferable, prior, elder, and the verb prefer. All these take the preposition to, but common error, people tend to use than, which is not correct. Go to question number 35. He is the chairman and the managing director of a company. Question number 35. He is the chairman and the managing director of a company. When two nouns or two adjectives refer to the same person, before the second noun or second adjective, we should not use any article. He is the chairman. The sentence talks about only one person. He is the chairman, nothing wrong. And before the second noun or second adjective, we cannot use any article. Based on that, he is the chairman and managing director of a company. Then the sentence is right. Question number 37. He is the most intelligent student I have ever seen. Thirty-seven. Oh, here it should have been thirty-six. One is missing. My mistake. He is the most intelligent student I have ever seen. Exactly. He is a principal and maths teacher. Very good. He is a correspondent and principal of the school. Whenever you come across an adjective in the superlative form, intelligent, more intelligent, most intelligent, then you have to use a relative pronoun that. He is the most intelligent student that I have ever seen, that I have ever come across. Then the sentence is correct. The collector has been the same person that she is. In this context, I would like to tell administrator, masculine form, masculine gender, administratrix, feminine gender. In a few, in a few exams, they have given questions based on this particular word. Modern English, we say administrator, man or woman, but administrator, masculine gender, 
administrate tricks, feminine gender. Here, the collector has been the same person. Same person, then you have to use a re relative pronoun that. It is there. Sentence is correct, no error. Yes. Question number 39 should be easy. Because you have re recollected the rule. What is the rule? When we use words like same, only, all, we have to use a relative pronoun that. Based on that, it is only dogs in the street that chase. Yes. But those examples go more with the school grammar. Uh, they go more with uh, academic grammar. I always tell you have to know the difference between grammar for ex competitive exams is different. Grammar for academics different. You should not read school academic grammar books. You have to read books written for grammar books written for competitive exams. Here, there were major epidemics of waterborne diseases, including, including typhoid, cholera, and diarrhea. They should have been the letter O. Here, waterborne, B-O-R-N bond goes with uh, to give birth. But here, the sentence talks about carried by water. Then you cannot say B-O-R-N. You have to say B-O-R-N-E, waterborne. Then it is correct. Airborne, waterborne. Question number 41. He will avail of the first cab to come along. Vector born, yes, that's also a good example. Airborne, waterborne, vector born. 41. Today we all we have seen the impact of the COVID-19. Airborne. It means carry, exactly, Suresh, you're right. He will avail, when you come across certain verbs, verbs like enjoy, avenge, revenge, avail, pride, all these, you have to think of the rule that goes with reflexive verbs, because this is a reflexive verb. And after the verb, if you see a preposition, then it is not considered an object. You have to use a reflexive pronoun. For he, what is a reflexive pronoun? Himself. He will avail himself. Then the sentence is correct. He will avail himself of the first cab to come along. No, no, you have to use the relative pronoun uh, himself. Reflexive pronoun himself, not relative. Reflexive. Because a reflexive verb, there's no object. Please go to question number 42. None of the lawyers have come today. <clears throat> None of the lawyers have come today. None indefinite pronoun usually takes a plural verb. But if it is followed by a phrase like of the students, of the employees, of the tourists, of the lawyers, it takes a singular verb. Based on that, have is not correct, has is correct. None of the lawyers has come today. One should always respect his elders. One is also an indefinite article. These two indefinite articles are very important. None and one. Whenever we use one as a subject, the indefinite pronoun one as a subject, we have to use either one or once, not a personal pronoun, not a possessive pronoun. Here, a possessive pronoun is not correct. We have to use once. One should always respect one's elders. This has been, this has been given in many exams. Common error. Either of the magazines is acceptable. Whenever you come across either neither each think of their distributive pronouns and there's an important rule what is that rule distributive pronouns always take is a distributive pronoun always take a singular verb not a plural verb based on that either of the magazines is acceptable 
no error whatsoever. He ended the letter with yours sincerely. 44, there is no error. 45, an important question. When it comes to descriptive English letter writing, this is a common error, and this is not correct. What is the rule over here? Possessive pronouns never take an apostrophe and the letter S. They don't take an apostrophe. Yours, that is a possessive pronoun. No apostrophe. Very important. Question number 46. Ramesh has made her to do his assignment. Ramesh has made her to do his assignment. Here we have a causative verb. What are the causative verbs? Make, help, have, get. But exam point of view, two verbs are very important. Make and help. In active voice, they don't take the preposition to. Based on that, to is not correct. Ramesh has made her do his assignment. Then it is correct. 47. They have been knowing the manager for 10 years. There are certain stative verbs. They cannot be used in ing form. That's what you have to recollect. Make, help, have, let, get. 47, here the verb, we cannot use the ing form. What is the verb over here? No. They have, we have to say, they have known. They have known the manager, have known, which tense is that? Present perfect. They have known the manager for 10 years. Perfect. He is having a beautiful imported car. So the sentence talks about what? He is having a beautiful imported car. Sentence talks about position. When it comes to position, we cannot use the primary auxiliary have in the ing form. It's a common error. He is having means what he is eating. That is not practically possible. We have to say he has he has a beautiful imported car. Perfect. Question number forty nine. They are smelling like they spent years in the muddy pool. When it comes to verbs related to senses. Do remember, we cannot use them in ing form or the present participle form. And literally, it means he is eating a, a beautiful imported car. They are smelling. You cannot use verbs related to senses in ing form, though exceptions are there. Here, they smell, not smelling. They smell like they spent years in the muddy pool. Very good. I'm loving to read magazines and books. Love, expressions related to, verbs related to emotions cannot be used in ing form. I'm loving, it is not correct, it should be. I love to read, I love to read magazines and books. Yes, try to write all the verbs related to senses. Hear, taste, smell, touch, see. But do remember, exceptions are there. That's all for today. Thanks for coming. I think some of you are going to take the exam tomorrow, tomorrow and day after. I wish you guys all the best. And do remember, give your best. If it is tough, it is tough for everyone. Composed, balanced, poised, read every sentence meticulously. Do respect the fifth option. And when you read the sentences with a focused mind and uh, being composed, you will be able to answer many questions effortlessly. Once you are agitated, you are disturbed, it becomes a problem. Always remember, while taking the exam, you have to be composed. It matters a lot, poised, composed, balanced, and read meticulously. Very good. I appreciate. I wish you all the best. Good night to all of you. And tomorrow and day after Hindu editorial sessions, I'm not going to take. I will see you on Monday. No, no, there is no editorial tomorrow.
tomorrow and day after no editorials because a lot of students they have to take they have the exam tomorrow 